All right, guys, so welcome back. This is part two of prepping the Honda here for riding season. So the first one episode uh, I did was I changed the actual battery right here on the Honda. The battery was dead. Um, it only get, didn't even give me uh, uh, the fuel pump to go on. But now the battery is set, it's ready to go. So the second thing I want to do before we get out on the road is we want to clean this chain. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't cleaned the chain since I got this bike. And it's recommended every 600 miles. This bike has 2,400 miles on it. So for all those people out there, I do apologize that do take care of their bikes and the chain. I haven't done chain maintenance on this yet. So what I did, I needed a couple things before I uh, started this uh, project. You know, I could have took this bike and rolled it up and down the block and cleaned the chain that way. But I felt like that was a pain in my ass. So and I never tried it and I don't want to so my buddy Jose who has a Royal Enfield has a center stand now obviously the sport bike doesn't have a center stand so what I actually did was I went out to cycle gear also by the way I'm affiliate of cycle gear anything that I post anything to do with the bike I get all my gear from cycle gear so the battery I'll put the link below for the battery for uh, for a Honda CBR. Um, the battery on this is very very generic, so it could probably fit a lot of uh, a lot of sport bikes. And um, so what else I got to raise this tire off the ground so I can clean the chain easier? I actually bought a rear stand. Now I don't have spools on the bike here as you can see. So what I got, what I like about this track side, it has for the swing arm and for spools. As you can see that piece right there. You could actually flip it up and use the spools or you can flip it the way it is right now and use the swing arm to pick up the bike. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get this back end up in the air and we're going to inspect this chain i also got this trackside rear stand at cycle gear i'll leave a link below if you do need something like this they're actually on sale right now it's a hundred bucks um if you do need something like this click the link below help out the channel we're trying to grow this channel above and beyond so uh, let me put the camera down and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're gonna put the track stand on. I had to adjust it so it fits the swing arm here. So basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna roll this in, make sure it's under the swing arm. I usually put it under the bolt here. You don't wanna go too far back, it might fall off. So you wanna tuck this under the bolt here and on the opposite side you want to make sure it's under the bolt also before you lift it up and make sure it's wedged in there nice what I'm gonna do is gonna take this pole here that comes with the track stand all right I'm gonna make sure it's stable I'm actually gonna hold the bike here for stability I'm just going to push up. Boom. Now, this pole is in the way and you don't want to trip over it. You just have to release it a little bit. Turn it in. Now it's up on the stand. Now the tire's free. Alright, so let's get the cleaning stuff. So here it is. This is a 3-1 pack you get actually off of Cycle Gear. I got actually this a few months back before I even purchased the uh, rear stand. 
Uh, I was going to do it on my own, but um, I decided to wait, wait until um, springtime comes around because it's riding season and we want to prep this bike. So we are going to take this out of the packaging and get started here. All right, so we're going to take the chain cleaner right here and we're going to spray it on and rotate the tire at the same time. Then we're going to take our brush that I bought also from Cycle Gear, the Stockton brush here, and we're going to brush this chain now. So I don't have a hose right now in the garage, so what I'm going to do is basically use this spray bottle that has water in it. It's an old bottle, it doesn't have this wax stuff in it anymore, it's just a regular water spray bottle. And all I'm going to do is just spray it down with water, get all that dirt and grime off from the, the cleaning. Now, it probably would be better off if you use a hose and really no pressure to get this off. But like I said, I don't have a hose in the garage. It's actually springtime. We didn't use the, uh, we haven't connected the hose yet. The water line is not on outside yet because it is, does get a little cold. So. I sprayed it with the water, uh, a fair amount. Chain is getting cleaner and cleaner every time I spray. But now, what we're going to do is just wipe it down and dry it. So I'm just going to take an old blue rag I have here and just spin the wheel and just clean off the excess.
All right, guys. Now it's looking like a chain. Somewhat clean. So if you want to rinse and repeat the process, you always can. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it one more time before I um, start cleaning up here. But yeah, from, from what it looked like before to now, it's a totally different chain. So next we're going to apply the chain wax. All right, so it's somewhat dry. So now we use this uh, chain wax right here. Now the, the instructions say to spray inside the chain here, or down here, and rotate it that way towards the front of the bike. So that's what we're gonna do. So there you go guys, the chain looks nice and clean. Um, you know, it's a very quick process if you have uh, a rear stand and you can get in there real quick and use the brush and do all that stuff. Um, I mean, look at all the dirt and stuff that fell off of it. Now we're in the garage, so one other thing I have to do, uh, I can't leave all this mess on the garage because I bring the bikes in here so uh, I got my bucket of water over here and we're just gonna sweep it out and clean it out I got this big uh, giant push broom and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get it off the rear stand and finish up so the products I use are all in the link down below um, I use the chain wax I use the chain cleaner I had a brush and I used the rear stand here. So that's how I cleaned my chain. So if you like today's video guys, please hit that like button. It'll, lo it'll let me know that you want to see more content on this Honda CBR. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel. I am work doing my best to uh, give you great content. And if you do hit subscribe, also hit that bell notification every time I upload something the good old YouTube will notify you so I'll see you in the next one we are still prepping this bike for the season we got some more things to do peace oh hey what's going on guys you made it to the end of the video but it's not over I know you want to just click this video right here right if not just subscribe Thanks. Have a good day.